Hey there fellow entrepreneurs. So picture this, you have got this killer product idea, right? And naturally you want it to be like totally flawless before you launch it out into the world. But here's the thing, no matter how much you sweat over it, there's always going to be some hiccup or snag along the way. It's just the way the cookie crumbles, you know. But fear not my friend, because there is a game changer known as MVP. But what exactly is MVP and why does it matter? Well, let's start with numbers. Did you know that 42% of startups fail because there's no market need for their product? Shocking, right? That's where MVP swoops in as a game changer. By focusing on the core features and functionalities, MVP allows companies to bring a product to the market quickly and test its viability with real users. And get this, companies that prioritize MVP development are three times more likely to experience success with their product launches. In fact, 78% of businesses say that MVP helped them learn what customer really wanted, leading to more successful iterations down the road. So whether you're brainstorming your next big idea or fine-tuning an existing project, stick around as we unravel the mysteries of MVP. Also, if you are interested in advancing your career, consider SP James Professional Product Management course, led by industry experts. This comprehensive program equips you with essential skills and insights to excel as a product manager. Dive deep into the latest industry trends and advancements through live sessions from strategic planning to product development and marketing. Gain a thorough understanding of the field. Receive practical guidance and certification to stand out in the competitive market. Take the next step towards success and enroll now to unlock endless opportunities in the dynamic world of product management. So without further ado, let's start. So what is MVP? A minimal viable product or MVP is a strategy used in product development where a new product is launched with basic features enough to attract consumers attention. It's the simplest version of the product a company aims to bring to the market, whether it's a car, website, TV or laptop. By offering the basic version, companies can gather feedback from the potential user to improve the final product before its full release. An MVP typically includes three key elements. Firstly, it offers enough features for consumers to consider purchasing it, making it easier for the company to market. Secondly, it includes a feedback mechanism allowing users to provide input on the product. Lastly, it provides future benefits to early adopters, encouraging them to try out the product ahead of others. Some of the fine examples of MVP is Amazon. Believe it or not, Amazon began by selling used college textbooks. Their first version of the product was basic website for delivering books to students. As time passed, they grew their business to become the huge online store we see today. Similarly, another fine example is Airbnb. Airbnb journey began with a bold idea, renting out air mattresses. Yes, you heard it right. They kicked off with a simple website connecting travelers with hosts offering makeshift accommodations. This quirky start was their MVP, that is minimal viable product. Slowly but surely, they listened to user feedback, fine-tuned their problem and expanded their horizons. It's a tale of humble beginnings turned into a global phenomenon. Who knew an air mattress could spark a revolution in travel? And there are many more examples like that. But implementing the minimal viable product approach requires more than just having an idea, doing the basics and launching it. It involves strategic planning to ensure its effectiveness and value. Now let's understand the benefits that companies get from MVPs. Creating a minimal viable product can assist you in avoiding many potential mistakes that you might overlook when deeply passionate about your product. Understand the preferences of your target audience. When a company builds a minimal viable product, they make a basic version of their product to see what people like. By doing this, they can learn what features or things their consumers prefer. It's like trying out different flavors of ice cream to see which one people like the most. Helps create a better product. Yes, making an MVP lets companies test their ideas quickly and see what works and what does not. This helps them make improvements and build a better final product. It's similar to making a rough sketch of a drawing before making the final detailed version. Next is it helps to analyze the demand. With an MVP, companies can see how many people are interested in their product. If lots of people like it, they know there's a big demand. If not many people are interested, they might need to change their plans. It's a bit like testing the waters to see if people want what you're offering. Next is ensures quick release. Instead of spending a long time making a perfect product, an MVP lets companies release something quickly. This means they can start getting feedback and making improvements sooner. It's like serving a simple version of a dish at a restaurant first. 
and then making it fancier based on the customer say. So this was about the benefits. Now let's talk about how to develop a minimal viable product. So first is understand your goals. Before starting to develop your minimal viable product, it's important to know what you want to achieve. Think about what problem your product will solve or what benefit it will provide to the people. Understanding your goals helps you stay focused and build a product that meets your objectives. The next is study your market. Take some time to reach and understand the market where your product will compete. Look at similar products already available and see what makes them successful or what could be improved. By studying the market, you can identify opportunities and challenges, helping you tailor your MVP to better meet the needs of your target audience. Next is consider the product features. Think about essential features your product needs to have in order to address the problem or provide the benefit you identify. Keep the features simple, focused on solving the core problem or delivering the main benefit. Avoid adding too many features at this stage. As the goal of an MVP is to create something basic that you can test and iterate upon based on the user feedback. The next is gather feedback early and often. Once you have developed your MVP, don't wait too long before sharing it with the potential customers. Gather feedback as early as possible by letting people try out your product and asking for their thoughts. This feedback will help you understand the aspects of your MVP and are working well what areas need improvement allowing you to make adjustments and iterate quickly. The next is iterate based on feedback. Use the feedback you receive to make improvements to your MVP. This might involve adding new features, refining existing ones or even pivoting in a different direction based on what you learn from the users. The key is to be flexible and open to making changes based on the feedback you receive as this will help you create a better final product that meets the needs of your target audience. By following these steps, you can develop a minimal viable product that efficiently addresses a specific problem or need in the market while also allowing you to gather valuable feedback and iterate towards a more refined and more successful product over time. Alright guys, with that, we have come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I hope it really helped you all. Thanks for watching, stay safe and keep learning. Staying ahead in your career requires continuous learning and upskilling. Whether you're a student aiming to learn today's top skills or a working professional looking to advance your career, we've got you covered. Explore our impressive catalog of certification programs in cutting edge domains, including data science, cloud computing, cybersecurity, AI, machine learning, or digital marketing or programs and set yourself on the path to career success. Click the link in the description to know more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.